But this is where Google is kind of telling us to go a little different than the GPS maps. Just saw that huge truck uh, drive past us, so it can't be too bad down here. But it's like they they, they still trying to make us U-turn and go all around. Google saying we got 17 more miles, and this one saying we got 28 more miles. But we just keeping all eyes on deck, just making sure we don't see nothing crazy like bridge 12 8 height you know something like that we should be fine though yep and there's another 18 well i love like whenever we drive somewhere and it feels kind of sus i love when we see other 13 6 trucks you know coming from the opposite direction because that lets you know okay it, maybe it's not that bad or going in the same direction now of course you don't want to just follow them blindedly but it does help just fleet message about winter places to park this may be where we camp out for the weekend y'all way better than driving 40 miles I tell you that much saw a blindside park? I guess you would have to turn around if you was in tractor trailer. I mean, we don't mind blindside parking in this thing. I'm just saying, like, in our tractor trailer days, Carla would U-turn in any situation <laughs> to avoid to avoid blindside parking. It would be some of the tightest spaces within the parking lot that she would, like, zip around so she don't have to do the blindside parking. You want to try to park close to the truck stop so we can yeah, be close to the bathroom or showers this is probably straight yep right in the middle hey. and uh since we're platinum status here at the loves that's free showers so we're in a perfect spot we can literally get a shower every night and go to sleep fresh and clean and we need to do our laundry so that's another good thing i wonder if they have a walmart nearby so we can get stuff for carla's sunday dinner if she's still gonna make it is this your way of trying to put me on the spot no i don't need to be put on the spot when i say i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it some tragic happened. That's the only way it won't happen. So, y'all, we getting us a Sunday dinner then because I don't see nothing tragic so far. Just hopefully no blizzards coming through because y'all know some states it's already snowing. Up there in like Oregon, Washington, Idaho, it's starting to snow up there. Canada, they Idaho. already. You said Utah. No, I said Idaho. Exactly. I'm not a hold on. You said you the hoe. <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be PG-13, nah. <laughs> What's that he driving? I don't know, but he just took around so he can get in one of these spots. I know Must be some right. specialized freight. I, I don't know. know. That's right, yeah, he did the same thing. That's how he turned around so he could... You won't have to do blindside. So if you're new to track the trailer, avoid blindside parking at all as much as you can. Like that should be the least you do. I think some folks just be showing now, like And then when they know how to do it, it'd be dope. <laughs> I know. But don't try to show out and then really fuck. Man, I done seen some of stand up. 
like looking, like yeah. they'll be standing up. I'd be like, he showing up. Sit down, right? <laughs> <laughs> but he probably been doing it for a long time. <laughs> Like, all standing up. I done seen them stand up. Have you seen them stand up? And they be like this. Yeah, he was super tall, though. Yeah, I'm like, dude. And that's the thing, though. Like, if you do... Like, I remember my first time blindside parking. It was the hardest thing. I just didn't even expect it to be that different. And from there on, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to have to avoid this. I mean, it's good to practice and try to get it down. So, Because there's some places you'll go where you have to blindside. But if you're in, like, situations where it's tight, a lot of stuff going on, if you can avoid blindside, just avoid it. I know. It's a whole different ball game. Yep. But I do recommend practicing and trying to get it down. Monday Night Football. What they got going on? Girl, what if it was some football players on there? We wouldn't know who they were. It wouldn't even matter to me. I don't even like <laughs> When following what was with, I would try to ask questions, but I just I was lost. <laughs> he got a, a little get up, don't he? Ooh, him. That's why some people who become truckers, you can never go back to like that that world where you had to dress fancy and wake up in the morning and get your coffee and you know be in a professional environment because Carla. Last night she was working in her pajamas. Yep. I only took my shirt off because I got hot. Yep. I was trying to see, is that a female? It looks like a female. Yeah, it's a female. It's a uh, man and a woman. Yeah. Yep. What they in there? Oh, they getting hardies or hard juniors. It's time to make breakfast. so cold out here um if i my nose is running or something i'm sorry i'm working on it but um so t first and foremost i don't know if you're a truck driver have you ever went to an area where it just seemed like blah, like it is nothing to do here in i forgot what part of wisconsin we're in it's very rural only thing they really have is the loves so I have made a decision to drive to a TA, which is near Madison, Wisconsin. They have a little bit more going on. They have laundromats, Walmarts, whatever you can think of. And I also reserved a rental car from Enterprise Rental, where they actually going to pick us up. Um, because I want us to run our errands without having to worry about moving that big truck or using too much personal conveyance time. So I'm about to put it on personal conveyance and drive to TA, find a parking spot and then get our rental car so we can run errands. Oh, 
Okay, now I need to get some gloves. Oh God. And we were told, um, because this doesn't have a safety chain, I don't know the exact reason. He just said we want to make sure that we test it out once a week to make sure that it doesn't get like stuck. So that's why I'm doing its weekly test. Um, you see the maximum weight is 4,000 pounds when the load is centered on the load carrying platform. Just good to read little signs like that because in the trucking world, information can be kind of given to you a little fast, so you gotta do some reading. Some people have never seen a lift gate, so this is it. Ugh. I got the gloves to help with the, not with the cold. I'm gonna have to get some stuff for that, but to help with more of the impact of touching this heavy metal. than I thought. I had to lift with both hands and I had to use my legs to lift up because if you use your back you can mess yourself up. And see that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and put it back up the rest of the way. Wrong way. There we go. Okay that was the wrong way. So I gotta go up. It works, so whenever a customer needs this to be taken care of. Another thing is um, to jump up in the truck. Uh, use these foot pedals right here. You flip them down. We've got to remember to put them up. I don't know if it'll mess this up if we leave them down, but try to remember to put that up. But you put this down, put one foot on here, jump up here, <laughs> and then you know you use this handle to hop in here. But it's really challenging because I think about some people who may have like, you know, legs challenges with their legs or knees or something. Because sometimes this is a really high jump. So I know some trucks have ladders and some trucks don't. Um, so I don't know. It's something to think about too. And you know, you do have to lift some weight. Uh, you do have to use pallet jacks, dollies, depending on what you're doing. So um, yeah. Unless you choose a load that don't doesn't require that, so. But one more thing that you actually pr could probably do to kind of help is um, say if you had the lift gate midway, I found myself doing it on the previous truck midway, you can actually use it like steps. So once you set it in place, you, you're not allowed to ride, ride it up, but once you set it in place, you jump on the lift gate and jump up and then you have a remote to lift it the rest of the way up. So, I don't know. This right here is a carbon filter. It gets rid of like metals, bacteria, uh, bad taste, bad odors. Just look it up. It gets rid of a lot of stuff. We got it from Walmart for I think like 18 about $20 I'll say. And uh, this is what we use to shield us with the non-potable water. Uh, I have not been able to bring myself to actually drink it or like officially cook with it. Like put it in like a pot and boil it. Um, I just mainly wash, we mainly wash our hands with it. We do brush our teeth, um, but it's supposed to be good to use it, you know, for all that stuff. We had another fancy filter on the previous truck, but it didn't come with this one. So the reason why I made the decision to, uh, put this in the video is because we had some comments from people who were kind of concerned uh, like, oh no, that's non potable water. Even though I put the filter in the video, and because they were, uh, for lack of a better word, dumb enough to think that we would use uh, non potable water without a filter, I was hoping maybe there's not other people out there who would 
you know, use this water without putting some type of protection over it. So if you do use this water, if you get out in this world and you use this water, you have to use a filter. So, yeah. Now the crazy thing about this tank, uh, we can't actually see the water tank as far as what I know. We have not been able to see it. So the way I know that it's full is that it's gonna start running out here. So once it starts running out here, that's how I know the water is full. And we've used a lot of water, so it's probably gonna take a little minute for it to fill up. Now, if someone has a truck like this and they know a way that I can actually see the water tank, please let me know where to look, cause it's not in here, this door or the other door. Matter of fact, it's out of this door. We just got our inverter. Hey, Carla. Hey, girl. You can see the inside from out here. Where you at, girl? Hey, girl. <laughs> All right, I'll see you, honey. <laughs> Got a little box here. Fuses. Oh, there it is. It's full. All right, let me turn it off. <sighs> All right, this truck is still sitting here. So, I mean, I'm going to have to reverse to get out of this line. When you're in the fuel line, please be considerate. Reverse out. So, we can head to this TA. Turn on my hazards. Oh, this truck, when we reverse, it makes a beeping noise. Say beep, beep, beep. Never had a truck to do that. So, our first time hearing it. I wouldn't have wanted it on the 18-wheeler because sometimes it takes you so long to back into your spot. <laughs> I can drive out this one. Yeah. It, it'd be embarrassing. Yeah, you would wake everybody up. Trash on the ground. Set it on the ground and it could have set it right there in the trash can. All right, let's head out. In the name of the car.